Hi, I'm Matt from Vizu, and today I'm going to be taking you through the newest feature from Alien Tech on their CARES 3 tool, DinoDrive. In order to use DinoDrive, you'll need to have it active on your CARES 3. For more information on how to activate your DinoDrive feature, contact the Vizu team today. In order to make use of the DinoDrive feature, you will need the following devices. You will need your CARES 3 tool, all the cables and connectors regarding plugging into the OBD port on the vehicle and the USB port on your laptop. You also need your laptop as well as a co-pilot to assist you in performing the DinoDrive tests. To access the DinoDrive feature on your CARES 3, we simply need to find the vehicle the same way we do when we are performing an ECU read or write. If we know the ECU type, we can simply enter the ECU type and in our case we are using our Peugeot partner which has an EDC 17 C60 ECU. Once on the correct vehicle we can select continue and this will take us to the connection page. This will look familiar to you as you probably use this very often with your CARES 3 and all we do is below the ECU is the DinoDrive tab, simply click on the DinoDrive tab and open up the 5001 protocol for DinoDrive. It will ask you, do you want to see the manual? It's always best to have a quick review of the manual before using a feature in case 3. For example, in this case, the manual will explain how to use the dyno drive with an automatic transmission vehicle, as well as a few tips you might find useful. It will also explain the basics of performing the test and what you need to do. When using dyno drive, it's important to stay safe on the roads. You must use a closed road or private track to conduct the tests. Remember that you'll also need to operate laptop and as such you will require a co-pilot in order to join you and assist you in operating the dyno drive feature. Once you have selected the dyno drive protocol you can simply click continue and this will take us to the GPS authorization page. Over here we need to agree to the processing of location data and click continue. On the next page the CARES 3 will perform a parameter check. This is where it verifies that the conditions are suitable for conducting the test and it enables the GPS device to receive the satellite information. It also enables the diagnostic socket to retrieve the information related to this vehicle such as the live data required for the DynaDrive test. As you can see the check is now complete and we can click continue to proceed. Next it will take us to the data entry page. The data entry page is the page where all the relevant vehicle information is going to be filled out. To start off, we'll select which gear we wish to perform the test in. The next block will tell us what revolutions per minute is our starting speed. This will be the start of when the measurement takes place. For this demonstration, we'll be setting it at 1500 RPM or revolutions per minute. Next is the system used for measurements. For example, we can switch between the metric or the imperial system should we wish. So we'll be entering our vehicle details using the metric system. We will next enter the vehicle mass. Remember it's important to use the vehicle unladen mass or unloaded if you want. This can usually be found on the sill on the inside of the door along the B pillar of the vehicle. However, not all vehicles have the labels there and you may need to look for it on your vehicle. Another quick way to get the vehicle mass may be to perform a search on the internet. Next, you're going to enter your combined mass of both yourself and your passenger. And last, you'll enter the amount of fuel currently in the vehicle. Optionally, you can add atmospheric data for correction factors when using the tests. Simply click the atmospheric data block and enter the current pressure and temperature of your location. Next, we'll enter the label field. This is the name of the test or vehicle that you're currently performing the test on. This is in order to locate the test on the AlienTech DinoDrive dashboard at a later date should you wish. Once you've entered all the data, click Start Test to begin the test. Welcome to starting the power test. Once you begin the test, the driver of the vehicle will need to reach 1500 RPM or revolutions per minute in third gear in order to begin the test. Once you have reached 1500 RPM in third gear, press the spade bar and maintain a constant speed. This will begin the test. At the first beep, decelerate to 1400 revolutions per minute. Once you have reached 1400 revolutions per minute, a second beep will indicate to you, telling you to accelerate all the way to the limiter, and then put the vehicle in neutral and wait for the third beep, allowing the vehicle to coast. 
A third beep will indicate that the test is now complete. After the third beep, the test is now complete. If performed it correctly, Dynadrive will now show you your results and you can next log into the dashboard to review the graphs and the results. To get to the Dynadrive dashboard, we simply need to visit dynadrive.alientech-tools.com and log in using our Alientech credentials. This will take us to the Dynadrive dashboard. We will be able to view all our tests we have conducted on our Dynadrive. We can see we have the main dashboard, and on the left hand side we have history. If you are a mobile tuner or you do not have access to a dyno cell, the dyno drive provides you with some information on the vehicle before and after the modified file has been applied. Meaning that you can still showcase to your customer that the results differ from a stock file to the modified file. Remember when using dyno drive it's important to enter the most accurate information about the vehicle you are testing. And when using dyno drive remember to stay safe on the road. And that's how to use a dyno drive from Alien Tech on the KES3 device. For more information on dyno drive or your KES3 contact the Vizu team today.